For many animals, youth is a particularly dangerous time. They are not only vulnerable to predation, but must learn to navigate a world in which every experience brings a new set of challenges and threats. The Royal Botanic Gardens in Melbourne are home to a large population of black swans, which have evolved behaviours to help with the survival of juveniles. One of the largest water birds in Australia, black swans inhabit nearly every environment across the continent, including urban landscapes such as the swans that you see here. Black swans are herbivorous and subsist on aquatic vegetation and grass. Their preference for actively growing vegetation sees them upending to pull plants from the depth of the water. Black swans lack obvious sexual dimorphism. However, as these swans are being monitored as part of a study, the male and female swans can be distinguished by their banding collars. The swan on the right has a black collar, signifying that he is the male, known as the cob. The swan on the left is the female, or pen. They are monogamous, with breeding taking place throughout the year. Nests are constructed from waterside vegetation. Upon hatching, cygnets are precocious, moving around independently. Despite this, cygnets are susceptible to predation, and left alone, they would certainly perish. These juveniles are particularly vulnerable as they are unable to fly, and as such, introduced predators such as foxes and dogs are serious threats. Parental care is crucial during this period, both to protect the offspring and to pass on information about foraging. Black swans ensure this parent-offspring relationship through filial imprinting. In birds, imprinting is the mechanism responsible for everything from learning how to forage to navigating migratory routes thousands of kilometers long. In these black swans, imprinting is the foundation of juvenile behavior. Upon hatching, their parents would have been the first object these cygnets encountered. They follow their parents very closely, mimicking their actions. This behaviour would have been formed during a critical period, shortly after hatching. By beginning to follow their parents, a region of the brain, the hyperstriatum ventrale and its associated neurotransmitters, are responsible for reinforcing this behaviour. By remaining close to their parents, these cygnets will be protected from predators while also learning how to forage. While it remains unclear as to how imprinting behaviour is initially developed in young cygnets, its benefits are evident in this family. Black swans must face ever-present threats throughout their life, but through filial imprinting, these cygnets are given the best possible chance to survive.